Yeah, uh, this is Red Eye. I'm just going to teach you how to do quick animation in Milkshape 3D. Um, you should already have your model decompiled with model decompiler. I'll just verify that the model actually doesn't have any animations. It, well, it has one, but um, I'll show you. it's just it was a muck around for myself. Okay, he has idle and backflip, and that's just basically him doing a whole 360 in the air um, and idle so what we're going to do is import it so import half-life smd okay um, mine is link 09.smd okay what we're going to do is untick triangles because we don't actually want the structure of him, we just want his skeleton. Okay, um, basically, you're just going to see some scribbles. Um, that's the skeleton of him. Okay, for this animation, we're just going to make him wave. <coughs> just something quick and simple. So, what we're going to do is down here, it's A N I M, short for animation. So, we'll click that. And basically what this does is lights this up. Okay, so what we're going to do is put it right at the start. And we're going to click select. And click join. And on this screen we're going to select that bone. And click rotate. And we'll put his arms down. The reason why we're going to do that is because... We want the animation to start with his arms down. Okay, now he's if yep. Um now click tool. Nope. Uh animation set keyframe. Now we've set the keyframe, so that's the first animation part. Now we drag it along. What fr we'll take it to ten. How you tell it's ten? It's over here. This is the current frame. So what we're going to do is select the left arm, Le left top shoulder, I should say. Um, and what we're going to do is rotate it up a little bit and I say probably select the lower arm and we'll rotate that up as well yep so go to animate set keyframe now if we go back You actually see him rotating his arm upwards. Um, so back, go back to ten. I'm just gonna rotate his. Gonna just rotate his hand. So select the that one. Rotate. Tricky. There you go. Now we'll just set that keyframe again. Okay, now we'll go to say fifteen. Select the elbow again. And what we'll do is rotate it to go about there, and we'll set the anim um, key set keyframe again. And this time we'll go to 20, and we'll set it to the opposite side, and we'll set that keyframe, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, he lifts his arm. 
and he goes right, left. And I'll just um, make him do another whole section. So animate set keyframe and then put him back on the other side. Animate set keyframe. Whoops, I did that wrong actually. Set it back into that position, set keyframe, then move it to 30. Forgot to do that. And then bring it back, and then set keyframe. Now, if I click play, you should. I don't. I've got to click this one. Okay, you can't see it on the screen. Let me click play, lifts and waves lifts and waves. Okay, now since we've done our animation, we go to export, Half-Life SMD. It will say, are you sure you want to animate in this mode? This might mess up your animation. The reason why it's saying that is it thinks you're going to overwrite your original model, the one that you opened up, but we're not going to do that, so click yes. Okay. Um, this time, call it something well, relevant to what we're doing. So I'll just call it wave waving. Okay, click save. Um, this time, click sequence and click with vertex with weights, half one two. Click OK. Okay, now now we have to go to. You have to go to the folder that has the your model in. That um yeah where you set yeah the model that you decompiled in, and then open the model decompiler .qc. Then go down to a part in your model. Um, part in your model, and what you gotta type is dollar sign any mation. Then you gotta write uh, the name of it. Um, it. Ours was waving, but what you do is push an a. I mean an a underscore. Then the name. The reason why you do the A underscore is so you and the compiling program does knows that, um, that it's for animation, not um, a sequence. Okay, then you write the file. So you just write waving. That's the file you saved as. And then you can add some special thing what we're going to do is write loop fps 30 frames okay one two three four five six okay now under it we're going to do a sequence the sequence is basically um more than one animation at the same time. Um, I can't see, I'm not sure if this is correct, but the model viewer, you require a sequence to play, so I guess it does. So basically what you're going to do is write sort of the same thing, but you don't put an un A underscore on this one, so you write waving. And then, um, but this time, you write the file name, but you also include .smd. I just noticed I had a spelling mistake. Okay, now basically save it. File save. Now open up um, GUI Studio model and select Canis 
stroke source and select the model um, decompile.qc that you just edited and basically click compile now if we go back to the model program I mean the model viewer and click refresh there should be a waving now and let's see if it works yep there you go you just learnt how to make a animation quick and easy only under well, 11 minutes but that's cool thanks for watching